Hi, I'm John Rampton here with Kim Crossberg uh, from Internet Marketing Ninjas. How's it going? Fine. Excellent. Fine. Yeah, and uh, today we're going to be talking about usability. Mm -hmm. I know this is a big problem for a lot of people mm -hmm. and companies. They have no clue what they're doing. They so don't. Teach us. Tell us everything you know. In, in two three, seconds. In, 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 no, you have two <laughs> minutes. I mean, what are companies missing? What aren't they doing? They're not designing for their target market. And what are their problems? Why, the, why aren't they? they they're, they're not doing their research as to what our expectations are, okay. what we want, what motivates us. And I think most companies have a tendency to get very greedy in the top half of a, of a homepage. Yeah. So they put everything above the page fold. We're, and there isn't like one particular path to follow. There's yeah. ten. Yeah. And I agree with okay. That. So so I'm a business. Where do I start? Uh, site requirements. I always tell people gather your your requirements, your business goals, your SEO goals, uh, mobile uh, accessibility. There's a lot of different things to consider, other than just what the stakeholders want. You know, you want to include yeah. what they want. Yeah, of course. But I, as a usability person, I'm more interested in what your target customers, yeah. readers, are interested in. And that's always very different, pretty much, than what the stakeholders want. You know, they want so go their information. <laughs> yeah, so going into a company, where do I start? What do you mean going uh, into... So where do I start with their design? Do you pitch the company? You, how, do you get, how do you get started or, as a ninja or as you, as usability? Okay, well, um, if somebody contacts Internet Marketing Ninjas and we establish, you know, like they, they sign up with us, yeah. the first thing we do is assign them a team and we um, have a call with a client. What's, bother, what, what's not working? What do you want done? Uh, most people come in looking for rescue. You know, yeah. panda, penguin, all of that stuff. I got Disavow. hurt. I need help. Uh, yeah, help. And while we have their attention, we can usually f discover, like I look at the website and say, oh, by the way, mm -hmm. there's also some conversion problems with your website. So while you're healing, yeah. you know, let's also work on your website design to make it more persuasive. Because if you're going to invest all that money... Yeah. You want to Why not sure, do it right? Right, yeah. You know, let's fix the problems. And we, there's a couple of things we can do. Like, I can give actionable advice that they can use right away for, like, quick band aid help. And they, they will get results right away from yeah. that. So, what are some of those things that you recommend that they can immediately get results? Uh, put the money maker link right, right front and center. Okay. Uh, you would be amazed at how many people put that main call to action somewhere in Timbuktu. Somewhere at the bottom of the yeah, page. Yeah, the bottom of the page. Uh, hidden or, underneath an yeah, ad. Or, or, yeah, or, or, or hey, oh, you just, I could tell you stories about where they put that. You know, you, if you have a money maker, uh, if you want to generate, and it doesn't even have to be a money maker. It could yeah. be, if you're sales lead generation, you know, don't make that a mystery. You yeah. know, put that front. I just was talking to somebody about that. Their form was all the way at the bottom of the page. <laughs> That's You've awesome. got to be kidding. You know, get that thing up there. Yeah. So. Now, when you're putting buttons on pages, is there a specific button look or feel that resonates better? I do not like flat design, which is like the, the new fad. Yeah. Because as humans, we love to push buttons. Yes. We, we, you know, we're video gamer people. We want... So I... What, what was that one more time? Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> Push buttons! Uh, we want to, I always say, bevel the button and yeah. make it a big, juicy button with contrasting colors and a really good link label so that people know where you're taking them. I hate mystery links. Yeah. And a lot of uh, links, and including buttons, they're not descriptive enough, so they're not clicked on because nobody knows where you're taking them. Yeah. So there, there's a lot of different pieces to the puzzle and it's all logical. Yeah. You know, like people say, can you look at my website and I say, and tell me what's wrong with it. No, I can't. I need to take it for a test drive. Yeah. You I know, need to that, go in there. I you don't want to just need to drive it for a while. get a bike and just go buy the first bike. Right. And take it for a test drive. Exactly. 
And and it, that and if they really will let me play, I'll try to blow it up. Yeah. You know, blow up the forms on purpose and her bogus data. You know, the stuff that they don't think to do. Yeah. But everybody else is entering that stuff. Yeah. And getting errors and you know you get false information you don't want that false information yeah and you don't they, want to pay for that false information because exa- you are right so there's there's a lot of stuff that you know like we look at and sometimes they need a full redesign sometimes they just need a little you know a couple of things but most of the time we need to spend some time yeah but now as a general i would say most people need to simplify their website oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Is, is there any other, you know, general tips that you can offer that fall with the majority of websites? Avoid distractions. Avoid distractions. Okay. What are some big distractions oh, yeah, that you definitely see? Definitely the carousels. Oh, yeah. I hate, I hate Anything the carousels. Anything that's moving sends our eyeballs off somewhere else. And if you've got really important content yeah. right there and you've got moving images, forget it. People, most users will jump right over that because yeah. they're looking for something that they really need. Yeah. And most of the time, that's not in a carousel or, or a slider. So, you know, kill those things or make a manual so that people can take their time and look and put a big juicy button on that thing and not a lot of content. Yeah. You know, you've got to be very quick. Limit the content. You've got to be very precise. Yeah. Uh, the, Anyway, I can go on and on and yeah, on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you very much for your time. Again, you. John Rampton here with Kim. Thanks, Thanks. a lot. <laughs>